Hey everybody, this is Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm in Word and I'm going to show you how to create a fillable form with a submit button. So one of the first things we need to do is look at our ribbon up here and make sure that we have developer, which I took mine out so I can show you how to add it in case it's not in yours. So what we want to do is go to file, options, and we're going to go to customize ribbon. And if you look on the right hand side here under main tabs, you have developer, but it's not checked. So we just need to check it and tell it OK. And now you have the developer tab up here. So what we're going to do is this is an employee appreciation lunch. So this is a form that we want to send to our employees to get their name, you know, what they want to eat, what time they're attending and any food allergies they have. And then we'll put a submit button down here. So how we're going to accomplish this is under developer, we're going to go to this button here, which says Le legacy tools, if you hover over it, and we're going to insert a text form box. Now you can double click on that box and you can give it default text. You can give it a maximum length. You can tell it it can only be numbers. It can have letters and numbers or format it ways like that, but we're not going to do that. We just want them to be able to enter information into this field. So since the first name, last name, and department is all going to be a text box, we're just going to highlight these, Control C to copy it, Control V to paste it, and Control V to paste it. And I'm going to back this up just a little bit. So when we get to what they want to eat, we have meat and sides. So we don't want them to be able to type anything they want in there. We have a certain menu. We just want them to be able to choose what they want from that menu. So we're going to add a drop down list where they can choose one or the other. So back under developer in our legacy tools, we're going to go to this icon here. And if you hover over it, it says drop down form field. So let's add that. And we're going to double click on it. And it's going to bring up another box that asks us what items we want in the drop down list. Well, I always put my first one as please select. That way it doesn't default to something actually in the list. They have to click the button to see. And let's just say we're having chicken. I'm going to add that. We're having fish. And let's say that we want to put an option for none in case there are people who do not eat meat. And that's what we want to do there. So we're going to tell it OK. And as you see, it defaults to please select. The next thing we're going to do is go to sides and we're going to do the same thing. Back to our legacy tools, a drop down, double click. We're going to do please select. Add that one. And we're going to say, let's say we're having mac and cheese. And we're going to have baked potatoes. And we're going to add those and we're going to tell it OK. So that so far is how you add a text box and how we add a drop down to select from a list. So the next thing we want to do for time of attendance is we just want them to be able to check off when they're coming. They don't need to enter any information or have a text box. So we're going to just add a checkbox. And to do that, we're going back to developer in our legacy tools, and there's a checkbox. Doesn't get much easier than that. So we're going to add that there. And since this is going to be the same way for all of these, let me put a little space between these. We're going to highlight this box, control copy it, control C, control V, and control V. And that's how you put a checkbox in there. Let's say we want to put a box in there for them to tell us if they have food allergies. We're just going to go back to our legacy tools and put in a box and they can freeform in there what they want to do. So for these text boxes, we can actually format them if we want to. If you highlight a text box, you can see it comes up. You can bold it. You can put it in italics. You can change the color. You can add a comment. You can do whatever you want to do in here. That way it stands out if you need it to. So now we're going to add our submit button. And the first thing that we want to do is we're going to go back and we're going to go to our legacy 
and we're going to go to active x controls down here on the bottom so far we've been up here we're going to have to go to an active x control and we're going to go down to this one that i think looks like an eraser but if you hover it hover over it it actually says command button and we're going to put that in there and i'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit bigger okay so the first thing we're going to do is right click on the command button and go to properties and if you look this brings up several things that we can change for this command button but the first thing I want to do is I want to change the caption and you can just put submit you can put click here but I'm going to put click to submit and as you can see it changed it we can change the background color by double clicking on back color go to palette let's say we want it green so it shows up real easy you can change the four color is the actual color of the font you can change the font type you can change how big it is and other things like that so we're going to x out of here because we are done in here so that's what our submit button looks like now we need to add some visual basic script now if you've never worked with visual basic don't let this scare you because i actually will put in the comments the script that you actually need to make this submit button work so on the submit button let's double click and we're going to control v or paste the visual basic script that you can get from the comments we have two end subs here this is not right so we're going to take one of those out otherwise if you go to compile it it'll throw you an error so everything that I've put in the comments is going to be the same for you, except these areas here. If you're going to use this, you will have to change the subject of your email. You'll have to change the body and you'll have to change who it's going to send it to. But I've just put these in here as a placeholder for you. Okay. So we've got our visual basic script in here. So now we're going to save it. When you go to save it, make sure that you save your Word document as a macro enabled document. Otherwise, your submit button will not work. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to get out of here. Now, one of the last things we're going to do because we're at the pretty much at the end of creating our document is we want to restrict editing and what that's going to do is only allow the user to fill out what is in gray or make selections or do their check boxes they will not be able to change the submit button they will not be able to change the formatting or anything else they'll just be able to fill in the blanks so from our developer tab we're going to go to restrict editing we're going to do allow so I'm glad this did this. If you encounter this, the first time this happened to me, I was frustrated. I was like, what happened? When you click number two, allow only this type of editing, this box start enforcement should allow you to click yes, but here it's not. And I'm going to tell you why. If you look over here, we're still in design mode. Let's turn off design mode. And that came back to a yes that you can actually click. So that is a tip for you. So what we want to do in this drop down here, we don't want it read only. Otherwise, they won't be able to change anything. We're not looking for track changes or comments. We want to restrict it to filling in the form only. And then we're going to click yes to start enforcing. Now, you can put a password in there if you want, and that'll further keep anybody from making changes that are that is not you and things like that. But just keep in mind, you will have to remember that password. And if you have a bunch of different forms out there, I'm not that good at, you know, remembering all my passwords, but I'll leave that up to you. Okay, so when we hit OK, now, as you can see, we can see our drop down. And they can pick whatever. Let me put it back to please select. If you go here, you see your drop down. They can make check marks and they can do that. If they click this submit button, here's what it's going to look like. 
So who it's coming from is going to be their email address. And who it's going to is going to be the email address that you defined in your Visual Basic script. And then the subject is test email. And then this is a test email is the body that we put in there. And then it's going to have the name of the form. So that is how we do a fillable form within Word with an active submit button that works that will get the email back to you with what they want for their employee appreciation lunch and everything that you need to make that happen. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and get notified. I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.